Many people are fairly new to working with SharePoint sites, but they have had a lot of experience working with Microsoft Office client programs, such as Word or PowerPoint. Did you know that you can work with SharePoint Online content from directly within Office desktop programs? You can. The secret is the Connect to Office command that displays in SharePoint libraries. If you use this command to connect a library to Office, you can easily perform a range of SharePoint-related tasks without ever leaving your desktop program. In this video, you'll see how you can create a new presentation by reusing files stored in a SharePoint slide library, insert a video from a SharePoint asset library into a presentation, save the presentation back to SharePoint, and then, later, check the slides in the presentation for content updates. Ellen Adams is a sales associate at Fabricom, and she needs to create a sales presentation for an upcoming meeting. She starts in PowerPoint, because she's comfortable working in PowerPoint. Some of the information that Ellen would like to include in this presentation already exists on slides in her team's slide library. A slide library is a special type of SharePoint library that you can use as a central location to share and reuse PowerPoint slides. You can select individual slides and then compile them into custom presentations. Ellen can browse this slide library and select the slide she wants without ever leaving PowerPoint. She does this by using the New Slide command on the ribbon and choosing to reuse slides. She then browses to her team's slide library. In the task pane, Ellen can see all of the slides that are available. If Ellen were to start her presentation from SharePoint, she could select the slide she wants and click Copy to Presentation. However, because Ellen is already in PowerPoint, she simply needs to click the slide she wants to add them to her presentation. Ellen wants to be sure that the information in her presentation is up to date, so when she inserts the slides from the slide library, she selects the option to be alerted if the slides in the library change. After Ellen adds the slides, she can rearrange them or change them as she wants. Now that Ellen has added the slide she needs, she wants to further customize her presentation by creating some additional slides. On this slide, Ellen wants to add a video about Fabricam's eco-friendly manufacturing processes. This video is stored in an asset library on her team's SharePoint site. An asset library is a specialized kind of SharePoint library that is designed for the storage of media files, such as images or videos. Ellen can easily locate images or videos in this asset library directly from within PowerPoint. When she selects the option to insert a media clip, she can browse to the location of the asset library by navigating to her SharePoint sites in the Insert Video dialog box. She can browse the contents of the asset library by folder or by using metadata. I'll have Ellen use the metadata browsing option to find the video that she wants. When she finds the video she needs, she can embed it directly into her presentation. When Ellen is finished with her work, she can save the entire presentation to her team's SharePoint Online site. She again uses the SharePoint Sites option that displays in the Save As dialog box. She navigates to the presentation library on her team's site and saves the presentation. On the day of her presentation, Ellen wants to review it. When the presentation opens, Ellen is prompted to check for updates. She wants to be sure that the data in her presentation is as up-to-date as possible. She can compare the version of the slide that is in her presentation with the slide in the slide library and decide whether or not she wants to replace the version in her presentation with the updated one. She decides to replace her slides and her presentation is automatically updated. I'm going to return now to one of the libraries that we've seen Ellen use to show you how you, too, can easily open, save, or browse to content on SharePoint sites from within an Office client program. The secret is the Connect to Office command on the Library tab of the ribbon. 
to add a library to the list of locations that display in your SharePoint Sites list in Office Program Open, Save, and Insert dialog boxes, point to the Connect to Office command and select Add to SharePoint Sites. Additionally, if a library has been configured to offer specific templates or content types on the new menu, you will also be able to start documents from these templates directly from the Office Client New Document Experience. For more information about the ways you can use the services in Office 365, go to this website.